Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and what I'm getting ready to do is prep my ham. And I figured, hey, why not just record it and let people see how you do your ham, girl? And this is um, our Thanksgiving ham. I don't know when you guys will see this video, but yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, so I just wanted to share with you guys how um, I prep my ham because for um, Thanksgiving and Christmas, I gotta have my ham. I love ham. So it's all, I don't care what we eat, catered, however I do. Uh, dinner we gonna have ham cuz I love my ham so all right anyway guys so I got this from public $16 and 28 cents uh, this is a hickory hardwood smoked semi boneless ham and if you guys saw my Publix haul you saw this and like I said I got it from Publix for $16 and 28 cents all right and we all know prices are going up everything's going up in price so but basically, I'll show you guys what I do. Let me get the ham out of this wrapping. I just get my ham all sliced up. I've got my pan over here with aluminum foil on it. I sprayed it with a little cooking oil. And I just, I like to, I don't like to leave my ham whole. I have done it that way before. But now, my new way of doing it, I just like it this way better is I take my ham and I slice it away from the little small bone that comes in it. Let me get my cooking scissors for this. And I'll show you guys how I do it. I like slicing it away from the bone and layering it out in the pan and then just putting it in the oven. That way, you know, as everybody, you know, as people are fixing their plates, you know, they can just, they can just grab a slice of ham and keep it moving. So, I'm going to wash my ham off. Going to wash my meat. So, I usually give my ham a little rinse. Rinse it off. And let me get some napkins here. All right, get a little napkin. And just kind of pat it off. But I like to give my ham a little, a little, little wash off, a little, a little sprinkle, sprinkle bath. Alright, and basically all I do with my ham is I just go ahead, I just slice it, and then I just lay it across my pan. I'll show you guys how I do that. Alright, let's see where our bone is. Okay, our bone's over here. I'm going to start slicing it. Just going straight down. Because this is where our bone is. It's got a little small bone in there. So, I'll save that part for last. And I'll show you guys how I do it. I'll turn it this way. And all I'm going to do is just slice it down. A little backwards, but let me turn it around. You guys will see. Hold on, let me get my hands washed. But yeah, it's a nice size ham. It's a nice size ham. It's plenty. When I slice it up, it makes a lot of slices of ham. So, you go ahead and get it sliced up. All I do is just cut slices like that. Nice little thin slices like that. Not too thin. Because y'all know we want our ham a little thick. So not not too thin as you can see. It's got a little thickness to it. So just 
to slice it like that. Now, I'm going to cut this in half. And that's what I like about this ham. This side doesn't have any bone in it. So I can just slice this up easy. Move that over here. Get this in our pan. I'll let you guys see how I pan it up. I just want to get it sliced up first. And it's easier this way for me, I find out. Instead of leaving the ham whole, it's easier this way. I like doing it this way, slicing it up, panning it up, and just putting it in the oven to heat up instead of trying to heat up a whole ham. So I slice it and I lay it in my pan and it doesn't take long to heat up. It does not take long to heat up because it's already sliced, you know? So take about, I'll leave, I'll put the oven at 350. I've got my oven preheating at 350. And um, I just heat it up for about, uh, about 20 to 30 minutes, about 30 minutes. Let me show you guys. Look at those nice slices. Nice slices of ham. Not too thin, not too fat. See, I just slice it up just like that. You got nice slices of ham. Now some I cut a little thick because I like a little thick slice. So I kind of cut some a little thick. But you got nice cut ham here look at that and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna pan all this up so let me put these stacks over here and this is already cooked it's already cooked you just got to heat it up that's all you're doing so let me finish slicing this up see how I want to slice this I'll just do this this way and I always like to cut some little smaller pieces for the for my little ones. So we got that. We'll get that panned up. Let's go ahead and get this other big part all cut up. Got our stove all heated up and ready over there. I'm going to cut this again so I can make it easier for me to cut. All right. And see how I did that? And I'm just going to slice it up. Make sure you got a nice sharp knife. I just slice it on up. And when and when people are fixing their plates, it's easier for them to just, you know, grab a slice of ham. It's just easier this way. You know how it is with kids. You want to make it easier. And not only that, we have family coming over to eat and stuff. You know, you just want to make it easy. You know, with everything going on, this way they can just grab a slice of ham. No one has to keep cutting ham, cutting ham cutting him away from the bone you know everything's already sliced for him now, now look at that nice slices of ham I love it just nice slices of ham just grab your fix your plate grab your slice of ham and keep it moving I love doing it this way I love doing it this way so We've got a lot of ham cut up, so let's go ahead and get ready to uh, pan our ham up. Get my hands washed. Okay. Always keep your hands washed in the kitchen. Okay, so let's bring our pan down. You move this knife over somewhere. All right, let's move ham down. Let's get our pan in here. All right. Okay. So you guys can see. Turn you guys that way more. And you guys can see how I just layer this in the pan. We'll go with our bigger pieces first. And then I'll put my smaller pieces towards the front. So. Just lay it in my pan like this. Just lay them across each other like that. Let's 
See, and this way everybody's gonna get all nice and um, heat it up. I just lay it across like that. Lay it across my pan like that. All right, I wanna finish cutting this up too. Let me move this back. Where is my knife? Somewhere around here. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up. Okay. Get that all sliced up. So these slices can be about the same as the other ones. I'm gonna cut these a little thinner. little thinner than the other ones over there I'm telling you by the time you get to slicing this ham up you've got so much ham so many slices of ham okay so let's get these across and just layer it across like that Slice. Let's get some of these slices. I'll put these in the middle like that. Bring those down the middle. That is looking good. This ham smells so good. I cannot wait to heat it up so I can eat some. Alright, got some more little thin pieces over here. I'll just put these across like that. Put these down. Let's try to squeeze some more in here. Put those down across the middle. Let's kind of fan some of these in here. Okay. We are looking good. Throw some across like that. I've got a couple little pieces here. And I've got more ham right here. I've got this whole uh, part right here that I've got to cut around the bone. So I'm going to slice that up too. And so I'm just going to leave this like this. And I'll get another pan for the rest of this ham. So I just wanted to show you guys how I um, slice my ham up. I don't keep it whole. Like I said, it's just easier this way. So I'm going to go ahead, get our ham in the oven. 350 degrees I'll put it in there for about as you guys can see it's all nicely layered out um it's 350 degrees I've already got the oven preset the oven's ready so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in for about 20 minutes um shouldn't take that long so I'm just gonna do 20 minutes just long enough to get everything all heated up and roasted you know so I'll do that 350 degrees 20 minutes guys and the final finale is me bringing that ham out showing you how it's done all right this is the grand finale i had it at 350 degrees uh for 20 minutes and as you can see our ham is all nice it's got a nice little toast across the top don't want to cook it too long because you don't want to dry out your ham 350 for 20 minutes it's already cooked you're just heating it up warming it up that's all you're doing you're not trying to cook it because the ham wasn't raw so as you guys can see 20 minutes taking y'all in yes yes i am that's it quick and easy your ham's already done cut it from the bone lay it across your pan like that 350 20 minutes everybody can just fix their plates and grab their slices that's it that's all y'all seen me do it i know i ain't do much y'all don't do that well you seen me do it so you know i did it this is arika misha thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.